Yeah, kind of. I know there's been a ton of doom and gloom about the lowest player numbers ever and horrible game balancing and the devs ignore the players and the players harass the devs. And sadly, those things are arguably true. But there is more to it than that. Destiny is still going strong, just not like it used to. It's been in worse states before though. I mean, Curse of Osiris, anyone? So why is everyone leaving? I believe that there are three things currently killing Destiny. Timing, updates, and optimization. First of all, timing. It is the end of the year. Holidays are upon us, people are taking midterms, and those who aren't working or doing school are traveling. People just don't have time to play many video games right now, especially not ones in stale states like Destiny. Also, the YouTube slump is upon us. There's less incentive to make videos, so fewer people make the videos, so fewer people watch the videos, so fewer people get fired up about the game, and fewer people play it. Outside of YouTube, there has been a lot of Destiny discourse too, and it's not always been the most wholesome thing on planet Earth. That can burn people out in their own right, especially since you have to see the same baseless and stupid takes over and over and over again. It just gets tiring. We're stuck in the same cycle of something happening, people getting really mad, it gets patched or something else drops, then everyone forgets any of this ever happened. Happened. It's sadly a toxic cycle that many gaming communities fall into, and Destiny is just the one dealing with it right now. Another cycle we're in is a pretty common one, the middle of the season slump. We've seen everything, we've done everything, we've done every challenge, we've completed the seasonal activity, we've gotten all the loot, we're good. So people leave the game. This happens every season in the middle, so I'm not too worried about that. I just think it's very intense this season because not only the things I mentioned before, but also because there's been many AAA releases just in the past couple weeks and many more coming soon. Timing is not something that you can help. This is just a perfect storm of everything going wrong or right, I guess, at once. Something that has changed though, and is sadly the second biggest issue playing Destiny, is the update schedule. Everybody knows that the game updates slower now. Everything is coming soon, not now when it feels like it should be. Season 19, Season 19, Season 20, Lightfall. It is pretty obvious that all of Bungie's resources are going towards their new game and the next expansion. They can't fix mistakes instantly anymore. They just aren't quite as big as they used to be. Take the linear fusion rifle fix, for example. If Bungie had their say in it, they would have fixed this next season, but they were forced to fix it this season because it just got that bad. Bungie is stretched thin, and we're in a doom spiral if this continues. Gladly, I think it's just for a time because they would rather have the future be good than the present be mediocre, but we're just gonna have to see. The current update schedule may just be for a time, it may not, but the worst problem of all plaguing Destiny is us. Optimization. We have over-optimized this game. We have the game figured out. Entire encounters are solved, which should never happen. Riven Cheese, Atrax with Lament, or the recently nerfed rocket launchers on Daughters. There are now exact optimal ways to beat something, and not doing so is objectively worse. I'm going to take a little break here to talk about an argument that I know is going to come up in that comment section. Just stop using it. This argument is just dumb. I don't know if there's another way to put it. I used to use this argument myself, and I know where you're coming from if you say this. You're not meaning anything bad by it, but the more and more you think about it, the worse and worse it gets. Once you boil off all the fact, I believe that there are three main reasons why people play video games. They play to be the best, they play to improve, and they play to have fun. Just stop using it intrudes on all of these. You're not going to be the best you can be. You're currently just hindering yourself and your squad if you choose to not play optimally. You're not going to be improving because you're preventing yourself from progressing. You're playing a hard cap on where you can go because at some point you're going to need to conform to that meta. And while it may be fun for a while to not play the meta, I know I use auto rifles all the time, you're just making things harder on yourself, which doesn't always correlate to more challenging or engaging. Just stop using it doesn't work because it makes gameplay objectively worse. Just stop would work if there were other optimal ways. If I could use a machine gun over a linear fusion rifle, I would. But sadly, in most cases, you're at a loss. So now the Destiny community faces something it has never had to fight at this scale before opportunity cost. This is gonna be a weird side tangent, but please bear with me. I play Skylanders a lot, and to be honest, I have a slight addiction, but when I do play, I can use any Skylander and not lose out on too much. If I want to use Free Ranger, I can use Free Ranger. If I want to use Grim Creeper, I can use Grim Creeper. If I want to use Crusher, I use Crusher. That's it. Even if the one I'm using isn't OP, they're still gonna do okay, and if I have to, I can switch. Take this for example. Trigger Happy is one of the best Skylanders in the game. Gilgrunt is 
not. I can still use Gilgrunt to high comfort because there's not too much of a consequence for doing so. It doesn't take too much effort to play optimally if I wanted to. I just take Gilgrunt off and put Trigger Happy on. Boom, I'm playing optimally. Back to Destiny, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to make one optimal build in Destiny. I have 300 hours and I just have two mediocre at best builds. One of them isn't even mine. I just stole it off the internet. The consequence for not playing optimally is so very high. Without optimization, you may not even be able to do certain encounters. We know too much. We solved the game. And that's not actually exactly a bad thing. We're always going to try to beat a game. That's just nature. But there should be more than one way to do something, at least on low levels. So what do we do to fix a problem that's been created naturally? I'm not a game dev. I'm not going to pretend to be a game dev. But I do have a couple ideas that maybe could help somebody. First of all, balance what we have. The core of the game currently is busted. There's no really way around that. I find myself being more frustrated than I am having fun. I would rather have people play for longer than just log in once a season to play a seasonal activity that we may have already seen before. Secondly, utilize the underutilized. We have so many exotics and legendary weapons and points of interest that get no love. These are huge areas and cool guns and fun things to do but there's just no reason to do them. We need to either incentivize players to use these things or go to these areas, or maybe just give them a facelift. I don't know, I can't solve all of our problems, but I hope by doing that, we could not only make it easier on the devs to fix the game, but make it more interesting for us, make it more engaging. Now don't stop making new content, don't get me confused, but at the same time, I think the game itself actually isn't being utilized. They're trying to add more stuff onto the game and it's only breaking the camel's back. So is Destiny dying? Yes, but we've seen games come back from way worse. This is not the end for Destiny. I love Destiny and I have a lot of hope in it and there's a ton coming on the horizon, but for now, yeah, Destiny is suffering very mightily. So community, in the meantime, what can we do? First of all, be understanding. Know that these things take time and the game isn't always going to be in a perfect state. It's a live service game. There are going to be mistakes and the devs are not going to be able to fix those mistakes instantly anymore. Secondly, continue to criticize. Now, I don't mean harass. I don't mean dox. I don't mean go attack. I mean, continue to ask questions, continue to care and continue to make yourself heard and to hear others. Third, vote with your time. If you don't like the game, please leave. And I know that sounds like, oh, it's so toxic. He told me to leave. I mean, leave as in you're only making it worse on yourself and worse on the game by supporting a game that you do not like. Go play something else. It will be so much better for you and it will also improve your love of destiny. Fourth, and most importantly, we as a community must stay together. Take the div debate, for example. That was hellfire on earth. We must find some general consensus on what we believe in so the devs know what they actually need to fix. If we don't manage some form of homeostasis, the community will fall apart. And I am serious about that. I've seen communities do it before and it could happen here. So why is Destiny dying? It's not in a state worth playing. I know, big whoop, big long video just to say that. Yeah, I know, but the game is in a bad state. People will disagree with me on this, but there's no use in denial. But I have full confidence that the game will be good again soon. Many people might not trust the devs, and that's completely understandable, but I do. They've brought us so much good stuff, and I believe that they can do it again. We have an expansion soon, and the new season starts in just a few weeks, and honestly, I'm excited. And if you aren't, feel free to go play something else. It will only increase your love for Destiny, and it will just help your mental health. Trust me on this one. Please go play something else if you feel like you're burned out. Pouring kerosene on the fire is not going to make you feel less burned out. Thank you all so much for watching. I have stuff to do and more videos to make and Skylanders to rank, and I'll see you all in the next one. See ya! Time is up.